Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Stacks. In the last session, we learned how to implement Stacks using List and today we are going to explore various applications of Stack. Cool. So Stacks are used in many applications. For example, like if you want to keep track of function calls, to manage your browser history, to reverse a string, and of course to create polished strings. Don't worry, we'll be learning about polished string soon by the end of this lesson. Okay, to begin with, let's see how a string gets reversed using a stack. Fine. This is your given string Tina and let's put all the characters of this string into the stack. Fine, so T goes in, then I, N and A. Now, if you traverse the stack, from the stack top of course okay and print the characters one by one what do you see so a is traversed and printed n and then i and t of course that's the string in reverse cool isn't it another application of stack is the conversion of arithmetic expressions which is written in high level language into machine readable form so this is an arithmetic expression written in a high level language but as a computer system can understand and work on binary language it always assumes that arithmetic operation also takes place by using two operands only that means a plus b is cool c into d is also cool but an expression like this which may contain n number of operators and number of operands and also include brackets so this kind of high level notation has to be converted into a simpler form and then only a computer can go ahead with the operations so this simpler notation which you are seeing over here is actually the polish string fine to define a polished string, I must say, it refers to a kind of notation in which either the operator symbol is placed before its operands or it might be kept after its operands. Fine. So this is an expression A and B are operands and if the operator is kept in between the operands like this, it is called an infix expression. But if I take the operands and place the operator before the operands, then it is called a prefix expression. Similarly, if I take the operands and place the operator after the operands, then this is called as postfix expression. So, polished strings is actually the prefix or the postfix notations. Cool? Okay. So now let us convert arithmetic expression like this into a polished string and which notation we are going to use is postfix notation. So I'm going to convert this expression into its postfix notation. Fine. So in this case, we are of course following the Bodmas rule. I hope you understand what is Bodmas rule. Yes, of course. So if I take the expression according to Bodmas rule, which has to be evaluated first? Yes, A plus B, which is inside the bracket. So A plus B on evaluation. And now it is not to be evaluated. It has to be converted into a postfix notation. So what I'm going to do is I'll be taking A and B, put the operands together and later on add the operator to the end of the operands. So this is the postfix notation of A plus B. The rest of the expression is written likewise. Now what are the two operations left out? I have multiplication, I have subtraction, right? Now which has the higher precedence? The multiplication. So what are the two next operands which will be considered? Of course these two. And now let me convert this into postfix. First of all, take the operand AB plus C. The operands are concatenated and later on add the operator after the operands. Cool. Rest of the expression is written as it is. Now it's time to take the last operation that is the subtraction. What are the operands? Yes. Put it together and place the 
minus symbol later on. So that's how we convert an arithmetic expression into Polish strings manually by using the board mass rule. So this brings us to the end of this session. Follow the next video to learn how to create postfix expression using stacks. Cool. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for the latest updations. Happy coding.